My name is Annette LeBlanc Kate, and I love birds, and I love bird watching. And I think kids make awesome bird watchers. That's why I wrote this book, Look Up Bird Watching in Your Own Backyard. Some of you might even own this book, but if you don't, it's totally okay. Because you don't need a book to go bird watching. All you really need is eyes or ears or both, and you need birds. And that's it. So I'm out in my yard and it's a pretty dark, dreary morning. But you know what? The birds don't care. I can hear quite a lot of them. A lot of twittering. Oh, that's a blue jay. There's a white-throated sparrow right behind me. I know I can't show it to you, but I just heard it making a, a little, a cute little noise. I hear a lot of birds. I'm really looking for a robin, though. I almost always see robins out in my front yard, but not today. I mean, why am I looking for robins anyway? I mean, everybody knows robins, right? I mean, I thought I did. When it came time for me to actually draw the robins for my book, I actually had a really hard time with it. I couldn't really draw one out of my head. I had to consult my field guide, and it made me think, wow, do I even really know what a robin looks like? And it's hard. It's hard to draw a robin. So, in fact, yesterday I had my, my sons um, do their own drawings of robins just to see if they could draw them out of their heads, and I think they actually did um, pretty good job. But when I was drawing the ones from my book, I just felt like I never really looked at a robin before. And it made me kind of sad that I didn't really appreciate them for how special they are. So that's why I tried extra hard to get to know them. Book, look up. And got a robin right on the cover. And one right on the next page. I decided pretty early on that I wanted to have as many robins as I could in the book. And the reason for that is, is that most kids are pretty familiar with robins. Most kids can see them, you know, pretty much any time of the year, either in their own yards or at school or at a park. Here's a page devoted totally to robins. We've all seen a lot of their different behaviors, you know, um, pulling up worms or sitting in trees, eating berries. And they're just so easy to see. They're right out in the open, right in the grass. They're not scared of people. And they have such happy songs. They sing, you know, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. That's a song you can always hear. They're just awesome. And they're usually one of the first birds kids learn about when they're little. So I thought now we would draw a robin together. And I would show you some of my you know, my robin skills that I have acquired. So when I draw, I usually start with pencil in case I make any mistakes, you know, when I'm going. And I always start drawing nice and light. And I first think about the shape of the bird. And this is really the most important thing, thinking about the shape. And a robin has kind of a big head. It's a little flat on top. And I'm going to draw it with its bill kind of pointed up, you know, its head sort of tilted, you know, as if it's running along my yard looking for worms. And speaking of worms, its little tummy is filled with all the worms it has eaten in my yard. And it's got a fairly long tail and fairly long wings too. And if you watch a robin, a lot of times the wings are held sort of low, not folded along its back like a lot of birds. And it's got pretty long legs too, long, strong legs that, uh, you know, it spends a lot of its time on the ground running. So it's got pretty, pretty big legs, pretty big feet. It's got three toes in front, one toe in back. That is called anisodactyl. I just learned that today. It's got a pretty big eye. And uh, the bill is pretty pointed, a little bit rounded at the end. A uh, fairly large bill because it's got to wrestle worms. So, you know, worms are pretty tough. So this is my basic drawing. And because it would be incredibly tedious 
to watch me color it in. <laughs> I magically drew another one and I colored it. Um, all I have, I just have these basic colored pencils here. The robin, its head is darker than its body and it's got these little bits of white around its eye. And another important detail, it's white underneath its chin. And its tummy is this really nice kind of orangey, orangey ready brown. And whenever I do a bird, I like to give it a little bit of habitat. And its habitat is my lawn. So here he is. So what I think bird watching is all about is learning to really observe and see all the little differences between birds that make each bird special. You know, things like their bills and their feet and their colors and their feathers and, and the stuff they do. Really learning to pay attention to all that. So I think I'm going to make some more videos and maybe we'll talk about some other birds. And I hope you tune in. And right now, I'm going to go look for some more robins and maybe even draw them. And I hope you do too. Okay, bye.